6,800 is a very key level. That was a key resistance during this area right here. So as long as we're holding 6,800 right now, I would call that bullish. As long as we're holding above this downward sloping resistance, I would call that bullish. And as long as we're closing this daily candle above the 21 day EMA, I would also call that bullish. Again, you're always gonna get those dips on the uptrend. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. For the past 12 hours, cryptos have been seeing some downside. We are seeing a bit of a dump in the crypto market. In today's video, I wanna discuss where we are in terms of the bump and run bullish reversal pattern. And I also wanna discuss some key support levels. And before we get started, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to sign up with the CryptoWatch platform, which is the platform that you see me use in all of my videos. Right now, I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart. We can see that Bitcoin is trading just above 6,800, which means that we have seen a significant pullback. Bitcoin is still technically in a higher low trajectory, but we are seeing a significant pullback right now. So we definitely need to discuss some key support levels. On this chart, I currently have the bump and run bullish reversal pattern mapped out. We have our impulse off the downward sloping trend, and then our creation of higher lows on this trend. Currently, we have played out this bump and run pattern. We actually moved straight through that previous downward sloping price channel, and we did have a breakout. But what you'll now notice is that we are currently coming back to retest the previous resistance of the downward sloping price channel as potential new support. So even though things may be looking bearish during this daily candle right now, if we can create support along this previous downward sloping resistance and actually get a bounce off this level, this would be the creation of another higher low. And this would overall be very bullish for Bitcoin. The 21 day EMA did act as some resistance here during our Adam and Eve double top pattern before the slight pullback in the creation of a higher low. Right now, Bitcoin is coming back to retest this key moving average and this key moving average also coincides with our downward sloping resistance, which is a potential new support level. So if this daily candle can get a close above the 21 day EMA, and we can remain above this downward sloping resistance and actually create support along this level, I would say this is very good progress for the bulls. Since our crash down to 3,850, we have only seen higher lows this entire way. And if we can get this daily candle to close above the 21 day EMA, and actually get a bounce off this previous resistance, this would be an extremely bullish sign. And at that point, we would just be creating another set of higher lows here around 6,800. Recently, the psychology in the crypto market has been quite interesting. Um, this flash crash made, created a lot of bears. A lot of people became overly bearish on Bitcoin after that flash crash. And every time Bitcoin sees a little bit of downside, people come out and say, well, we're most likely gonna see another crash to, to three, th you know, 3,800 again, or even lower than that, right? People are extremely bearish on the market right now, even though we've seen an incredible recovery and this bump and run bullish reversal pattern has actually played out to the upside. But regardless, people are still very bearish on the market. Every time the price sees a little bit of downside, like during this daily candle here and during this area right here, People comment and they say, Kevin, how can you be so bullish on Bitcoin? We're in a bear market. Bitcoin's going to see much lower prices. And the reason I've been bullish on Bitcoin is this weekly volume indication. We saw record weekly volume, which again, if you guys are familiar with my content, we've talked about this many times. High volume areas usually line up with major reversal points. You know, these high volume areas are great um, ways to determine trend changes, right? Trend reversals usually occur during high volume areas, just like 20,000 as well, guys. And recently we got that high volume area. And in my opinion, we are seeing a trend change now. We're seeing a recovery for Bitcoin off of this low. And again, to address the people that are gonna make these comments, you know, the reason why I'm still bullish on Bitcoin is because this volume right here, we've seen a decline in volume and barely any increase in sell pressure, right? Looking at all the areas where Bitcoin had dips in the market during this uptrend, um, you know, not much sell pressure down there. Same thing with this dip right here. If you're looking at the volume, not much sell pressure down there. And if you're looking at our current area where we're selling off, not all that much sell pressure here either. What this tells me is that the market seems to think that these areas are great areas of value to be buying, to be accumulating. Of course, you will always find profit takers on the way up and you will always have those dips. But generally, you know, we're still seeing this decline in volume 
right? And even with this dip right here, we have not seen any volume spike. We have not seen a spike in sell volume. If we saw this dip here, and during that dip, we saw a major spike in sell volume, at that point, you know, if we saw something like this, then I would be looking for downside actually. At that point, I would say, okay, well, it looks like we're seeing a, a short-term trend reversal. There's a lot of selling interest right now. People are probably taking short positions and very likely we're gonna be looking for, you know, potentially more downside here. Um, if we were to, you know, if we saw that type of volume come in, but we have not seen that type of volume come in. And right now we're still above the downward sloping resistance, potential new support. We're trading at the 21 day EMA potential new support, potential support along this moving average. So again, I have to remain bullish on Bitcoin as long as we are holding these levels. We're still holding this level as well. 6,800 is a very key level. That was a key resistance during this area right here. So as long as we're holding 6,800 right now, I would call that bullish. As long as we're holding above this downward sloping resistance, I would call that bullish. And as long as we're closing this daily candle above the 21 day EMA, I would also call that bullish. Again, you're always gonna get those dips on the uptrend. And as long as we hold these levels, I'm looking for higher prices at this point, guys. Despite this dip, I'm still looking for higher prices. Again, 6,800 is a very key level. If we do get a breakdown below 6,800 and we close this daily candle below the 21 day EMA, that's when I'm gonna be looking for um, 6,400 as that next, or 6,430, I should say, as that next downside target because 6430 is this previous support from 2019. That 2019 low point is coming in at 6430. So that 6430 would be my downside target. Um, you know, even if we do get a pullback to 6430 and we actually rally off this level, I would say that this is also bullish progress from a longer term perspective, from a larger scale perspective. This is still um, a higher low trajectory. You know, if you're looking at it, especially on the daily chart, finding a bounce off 6430 would also be a higher low trajectory. Um, if we start to fall below 6430, this is when I start to get a little bit more bearish. Then we're looking for downside targets like 5860 and possibly lower, possibly 5000 or so. But that is only if we break below 6430. So I think I've made it pretty clear. Um, what my stance on the market is right now. You know, the weekly volume indicates a reversal. And on this channel for the past many weeks, we've been looking for this reversal and it's played out. And on this channel, we've also been looking for this bump and run bullish reversal pattern to play out and it's played out as well. We actually ran straight through that previous channel and we broke out. As I was saying, what seems bullish to me or what could be a bullish sign is that we get a breakout above this channel. You know, this, you know, this previous channel right here, this downward sloping channel, we get a breakout above it, we come back to retest it as support and potentially bounce from here, right? If we get a bounce off this level, if we close the daily candle above the 21 day EMA, and we close the daily candle above this downward sloping channel, and we close the daily candle above 6,800, that's extremely bullish. And that would be a really nice area to catch some support for the potential next leg up. If we don't do this, then I'm looking for 6,400. And again, even 6,400 would be a higher low. So overall, I'm still bullish on the market, but that's just how I'm seeing the charts right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel, sign up for the CryptoWatch platform. And also, I got a Discord channel you can join. I have a Twitter you can follow me on. And I also have a Patreon if you want extra content and you want to support the channel. So definitely check out all those links and I will see you all in the next video.